Hello, my cookies. Welcome. Welcome to Russell Cooks. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I have a recipe. It's close to my heart. Biscuits and gravy. It's a sausage gravy. It's delicious. This is like quintessential Southern American style breakfast. It doesn't look great, but it tastes good. We're going to make the biscuits, of course, from scratch. This is going to be a really simplified biscuit method. You're going to make a really good biscuit, and then you're going to smother it in this sausage gravy. So now that we know what we're doing, let's gather our ingredients. First thing you're going to need, obviously going to need some butter. You're going to need some flour. You need some pepper. You need some buttermilk. I'm making some buttermilk biscuits. Whole milk. Mine's lactose free. It doesn't matter. Won't make a difference. I like some Bell's poultry seasoning here. It's just some ground sage, ground oregano, some other herbs in here. Rosemary, oregano, sage, ginger, marjoram, thyme, and some pepper. I like adding this. Kind of bulks up my breakfast sausage flavor. If you don't want to add it, don't have to. If you want to add just a little bit of sage or a little bit of dried thyme, that's fine as well. You're also going to need some breakfast sausage. I got some Jimmy Dean regular breakfast sausage here this is about a pound you're also gonna need some baking powder granulated sugar salt last but not least you're gonna you're gonna need a little bit of baking soda in case you're doing this recipe a thousand times you probably don't need this much now that we know what we're doing and we've gathered our ingredients let's get cooking first things first i am going to focus on the biscuits get those in the oven for our biscuits you are going to need 12 tablespoons of butter which are one and a half sticks i'm actually going to cut this first because i want it chilled so i'm just going to cut it up put it in the fridge and chill it so i'm just going to kind of cut it up into pea sized nothing crazy i have cut up my 12 tablespoons of butter i'm just going to pop this back in the fridge so it stays cool and chilled for when i need it I've also preheated my oven to 450 degrees. I'm going to use my toaster oven. You can use your big oven if you want, but you might have to adapt the recipe a little bit for your big oven. I'm essentially doing 450 degrees middle rack. After a few minutes, I am going to drop the rack down and the temperature finish these biscuits that way. While the biscuits are going, we are going to make our sausage gravy. Hopefully things line up. Let's get our dry ingredients now for these biscuits. You're going to need three cups, about 15 ounces of flour here. Three cups all-purpose flour. I don't want to add a ton of sugar here, but I am going to add just a little bit. So with my granulated sugar, I'm going to add about one and a half tablespoons here. Just going to help with the browning. You're not going to really taste it. Also help with the structure. Next up, I am going to do a tablespoon of baking powder. And then I'm going to do half a teaspoon of baking soda. Don't mix them up. Now we got our dry ingredients in here. We're just going to pulse this. We just really want it to kind of come together, aerate it a little bit, mix it around so it's evenly distributed. So I'm just going to process it for about 10 seconds, maybe 15. All right. Now that I got that aerated, let's add that butter that I chilled 12 tablespoons. I got my 12 tablespoons of butter in here. I'm just going to process it until it kind of turns sandy, kind of like a coarse cornmeal. All right, just a little bit more. Almost there. All right, I think we're there. All right, we're just going to transfer this over into our bowl here. It's time for the buttermilk. I like one and a quarter cups here. I'm going to mix this together now. Just going to fold it. All right, I'm just going to lightly flour this. And I'm going to get all this on here and i'm just gonna kind of press it all together sort of need it but not really need it i don't know how to describe it you kind of just want to combine it all make sure it's nicely even throughout it's coming together it's only going to take maybe eight nine ten needs to really come together what I like to do is I tend to kind of press it out and this helps get flaky layers. You don't want to over knead this, obviously. I kind of like as I'm doing it to kind of fold it amongst itself. So I'm just going to roll this out. I want it about three quarters of an inch. And we're going to make nine biscuits. There will be a little bit of scrap. And it's starting to stick. So I'm just going to get a little more flour on here. Oh, this is soothing. We're a little bit over an inch, so I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger here. Try and make it a little bit more even. Flop it over. All right, one of the things I am going to do, is I don't even think I need my square cutter. I can just do this with a knife. 
I am going to just trim a teeny bit off the edges here. A teeny bit. Make them a little bit more even. All right, let's see. Just eyeball it here. All right, this other square one turned into a round one. We're putting our biscuits in the toaster oven, 450 degrees, middle rack. After about five minutes, I'm gonna lower the rack and drop the temperature. Next up, let's head over to our stove here. We are taking our bulk breakfast sausage here, and I'm just putting it in my cold pan. It doesn't have to be hot, doesn't matter. Now, if yours comes in like one and a quarter pound package, that's fine too. Just gonna get that on medium heat. Just gonna cook it, render it down. Again, this is one pound. While that is heating up, I'm gonna get a little tray here and I'm gonna do about three tablespoons all-purpose flour. I'm also going to do about two teaspoons of my Bell's poultry seasoning. I'm also gonna be adding some pepper. So I'm gonna do about a teaspoon freshly ground black pepper. I also want to add a little extra zing, a little extra spice, maybe a little extra color. This is not traditional. This is completely optional. So if you know me, you know what's coming. I'm also going to add a little bit of Aleppo pepper here. I'm going to add maybe three quarters of a teaspoon. Now this is some good pork sausage. You can tell I got some fat rendering out. I got to drop my biscuits down to the lower level and I'm going to drop the temp down to 400. We're going to do about 10 to 15 more minutes on these biscuits. If the top isn't getting as brown as I want, I'm going to raise it back up to the middle. It's just a little more difficult in a toaster oven. If I was doing this in my big oven, I'd just do middle rack the entire time. We got our flour mixture here. I know this seems like a hefty amount of flour it is, three tablespoons plus these other thingies, but we need to put it in. Right, we're going to put our flour spice mixture, sprinkle it over top. We're going to let that cook for about a minute. You want the flour to cook and you want those spices and seasonings to kind of like bloom. Soaked up all that grease, all that delicious fat. All right, we're pretty much cooked here. The flour has cooked, our spices have bloomed. Now I'm gonna incorporate my milk. I'm gonna do about three cups. Maybe I'll do two and a half. Can always add a little bit more. All right, two and a half cups. All right, just going to stir that around. You want to bring it to a simmer. You want it to thicken. That's going to take about five minutes. Coincidentally, we got about six minutes left on our biscuits. This could line up. I'm just scraping up the bottom, making sure that I don't have any flour or anything stuck to the bottom that could burn. You know what? I am going to raise them back up to the middle rack here. I want a little bit better browning on top. All right, I'm dropping the heat down, kind of medium low. I want to simmer. I don't really want to boil. If you don't know what the difference is, boils 212, simmers between 180 and 200, typically closer to 200. The little bubbles, the little bubbles. A boils big bubbles. I want little bubbles. We're starting to thicken up over here. This is looking really good. I want to get it a little thicker, so maybe another minute. Remember, when it's ripping hot like this, 200 degrees. It's going to be a lot thinner. When it cools down, it's going to tighten up. Oh, I forgot to add salt to the biscuits. Oops. That's what happens when I monologue while cooking. I think we're good. I'm just going to take that off the heat. I'm going to give it a taste. Taste it for saltiness. I haven't added any. Pork sausage tends to be pretty salty to begin with. This is good consistency. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Symphony of flavors, my friends. Biscuits looking pretty good. We're getting some good browning. I'm just going to rotate it, put it back in. Two minutes. Should we do an egg? Let's do an egg. Yeah, I think the uh, gravy was salty enough. I don't think we need anything else. Let's get these biscuits out. They are looking fantastic. Look at this browning. Hot son of a biscuit. Oh, look at that steamy, delicious biscuit. Look at that. Wait for it, all right? I'm gonna do a little bit from Aleppo and a nice little pop of color. Let's smother it up. These biscuits are, there's no fuss, no fluff, no. Plenty of fluff, no fuss. We'll put that on a t-shirt. And right, here we go, look at this nice gravy, here we go. Spill over the side, yes, please. Crack this one open. No illusions about it, this is knife and fork. Mmm, this is so good. The harmony between those two things, it's indescribable. Like I tried the sausage gravy to make sure it had enough salt. It was good and like potent. And the biscuit just provides a nice little buttery pillow. It's like that fluffy pillow carrying the crown or the ring to you. You're just elegance. Look at that egg. This is a good breakfast. Can you make this more elegant? Yeah.
Could I shave some black truffle in there? Absolutely. Do you need to? No. All I need now is a pile of bacon. That was quick and easy biscuits with sausage gravy. If you like what you saw, don't forget to check me out on YouTube, Twitch. I'm also on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.